James Storm makes his return to Impact Wrestling at Bound for Glory. It's official, the Knockouts Tag Team Championship is coming back at Hard to Kill. And hold on to your hats, batten down the hatches, because Swaggle's back. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. So Bound for Glory has come and gone, and it was a really good show. Very good show. I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, some things were better than others on the show, but uh, overall, it was a very good show. One thing I really liked, I really loved, that I really popped for, was the return of Cowboy James Storm. It was so good to see James Storm back. When I saw James Storm, I initially thought, oh, he's going to win. He's going to win the uh, the gauntlet match and he's going to challenge for the Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. But uh, as we saw, he didn't win and Rhino won. Rhino uh, won the gauntlet match, so he gets to choose uh, which title he's going to go after. Uh, apparently, the, the original ending was supposed to be Heath was supposed to win the match but he had gotten injured during the match he suffered a hernia from what i'm reading so they kind of changed it on the fly and rhino was the winner and um he gets a challenge for whichever title he would like to challenge for and it's a damn good thing it's a damn good thing that they they did the storyline of either rhino wins or heath wins for heath to get the contract so it's it's a damn good thing that they, that they did that because um, they were able to uh, make Rhino the winner and uh, Heath gets his contract with Impact Wrestling but unfortunately he's out now with the hernia but back to James Storm it was very good very good to see him back in Impact Wrestling and I was just I've been scoping the internet ever since he's come back to, from Impact, to Impact Wrestling to, to find out if he's sticking around or if it's just a one-time deal. Nothing's been confirmed yet. But I did read, and I, I don't know if it's confirmed, but I did read that he will be at a set of tapings. Uh, so we may see more of James Storm in Impact Wrestling. And I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense because I know he had the deal with the WWE, but that kind of fell through because of COVID. There aren't too many promotions running right now. There's Ring of Honor. Um, of course, WWE and Impact Wrestling are the only uh, promotions that are really running right now. Of course, there's New Japan, but I'm not sure uh, if he wants to go out out to New Japan. Uh, but but then again, maybe he does. But uh, there only there are only a few promotions that are running right now. So coming back to Impact Wrestling, even if it's even if it's for like three four months, makes sense for James Storm because he's no longer with uh, with NWA. NWA not running shows right now. I'm not sure what the situation over there is with the NWA, but. If they could lock him up for even for six months, six months, I mean, I, I would take it. I would love to see him back in Impact Wrestling uh, for for any amount of time. Big, big James Storm fan. And again, it was so good to see him back in Impact Wrestling. Just cowboy James Storm, man. Wow. Like I said, I, I popped, man. I, I I didn't see – I wasn't watching Bound for Glory live. I was in Niagara Falls, and we drove back, and I watched it uh, about uh, one – one o'clock in the morning is when I started it on Saturday. And uh, even when I saw James Storm, actually, I started about midnight. Midnight, I'm sorry. I started about midnight. And uh, when I saw James Storm, even though it was about, it was almost one o'clock, I, I, I text, I sent a text to BQ. I was like, holy fuck, James Storm. James Storm, excuse, excuse the language there. I'm sorry. But I, I was just, I was excited to see him. And uh, I hope he sticks around. I would love to see him. Love to see him challenge for the Impact uh, World Title. Um, of course, if he does stick around, that would be that would probably be the next step for James Storm because he deserves he deserves another shot. I, I don't know if he would defeat Rich Swan, um, but uh, that would be a terrific match. And by the way, congratulations, Rich Swan, for for becoming the new Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. I predicted Eric Young. I didn't think think they were going to take him off take the belt off him so soon but i was wrong rich swan is the new impact wrestling heavyweight champion as most of us know already so 
There were other returns. There were other returns. We saw Davari. Davari made his return to Impact Wrestling. And man, that dude looked freaking jacked. He looked absolutely jacked at Impact Wrestling. And I hope he's back. I hope he's back uh, for the long term as well. I think he would be a great addition. Great addition to the, to the X Division. And uh, I would love to see him. I think him. I think he'd have a great match with Rohit Raju. I think that would be a great match. Uh, for the exhibition chat. And uh, speaking of Rohit Raju, another congratulations goes out to Rohit Raju for retaining the only champion that retained his title at Bound for Glory. So congratulations, Rohit Raju, still the exhibition champion. And by the way, he did sign a long-term deal with Impact Wrestling prior to, to Bound for Glory. So a little reward there for, for Rohit Raju, sign that long-term deal get to keep your title so there you go so he's still the champion i thought it was going to be chris bay but uh, i was wrong again i was i think i was wrong on on many i think i was wrong at everything because i i know the, the the north the north picked the the north of the new tag team champions i picked ace austin and man man fulton i was wrong there uh i picked diona perrazzo to retain i was wrong of of, of course as we know kylie ray uh, was a no-show um, from what I'm reading due to injury, but I don't know the whole story there. Uh, but uh, I thought Diana Prazo was Diana Prazo was going to retain her title regardless. But I was wrong there. Sue Young is the new Knockouts champion, and congratulations, Sue Young. I was wrong with Eric Young, as I said. I was wrong. Where else was I? I I picked Eddie Edwards to win. I believe I was wrong there. I don't think I got anything right. I think I got. I think I got everything. Well, I picked Heath to win the the gauntlet, and he technically was supposed to win. So technically, I was right there. But Rhino won, so technically, I guess I'm actually wrong. So I think I got everything wrong. I got everything wrong. All my predictions were wrong. So hey, it happens. It's a good thing I didn't bet because I'd be out a lot of money right now. But but yeah, no. But um, anyway, even though I was wrong, it was still a great show. It was still a great show. And, and as I said, Davari, um, welcome back, Davari, uh, to Impact Wrestling. I know I was reading that he's at, at the tapings as well. So let's see uh, let's see where that goes. And uh, like I said, it'd be a great addition to the exhibition. He, like I said, he looks, he looks like he didn't age at all he, from when he was, he was Sheikh Abdul Bashir uh, the last time he was uh, with Impact Wrestling. But um, looked absolutely, like I said, totally jacked. Kept in great shape, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there with uh, with Davare. And another thing that made its official return is the Knockouts Tag Team Championship, which I've been talking about for a while. Which a lot of people have been talking about for a while. I know BQ has been been pushing for it, and um, I'm I'm glad it's back. I'm glad it's back, and I'm gonna make a prediction. Yeah, you know, and, and hopefully I'm right on this one. <laughs> hopefully I'm right on this one. I'm gonna say the 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 first knockouts tag team champions with it's with the knockout tag team championship return will be Kara Hogan and Tasha Steele. Kara Hogan and Tasha Steeles will be the first new knockouts tag team champions. And they have a number of knockouts, um, I'm sorry, a number of tag teams in the knockout division. Uh, so it could be very competitive, but uh, no one, I, in my opinion, no one deserves it more right now than Kara Hogan and Tasha Steele. So I'm picking them to be the first champions winning the titles. I believe they're going to have a... I'm not sure how they're doing it. I know the titles are coming back at Hard to Kill. I don't know if they're going to have a tournament. Maybe they'll have um, brackets and uh, final two teams meet at Hard to Kill. Unless Hard to Kill is where the tournament takes place. I'm not sure. But but wherever, whatever they're doing, my prediction, and I hope I'm not wrong <laughs> because I've been wrong. I was wrong <laughs> on every single freaking match at Battle for Glory. So Tasha Steele's Kara Hogan, my pick to be knockouts tag the next knockouts tag team champions okay so are we ready for the next one are we ready for the next topic let's hold on to our hats let's hold on to our seats let's batten down the hatches because ladies and gentlemen swaggle's back <laughs> that's right swaggle is back at impact wrestling 
I'm not sure why, to be honest. I, I mean, I know you know Swaggle is is mainly comedy, and I think there's a lot of comedy going on right now at Impact Wrestling. Unless somehow he's going to be involved in the in the wedding, and I know as I was reading, he's a part of the next set of tapings as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll they'll redo the storyline of of somebody pulling down his pants. Remember, remember that, that storyline with with the Rockstar Spud? They they feuded over the fact that Rockstar Spud pulled down his pants in the ring. So maybe they'll they'll have somebody come in and and pull down his pants, and we'll have another feud based on that. Or or maybe Moose, maybe Moose, um, who had a I thought a great match. Well, it wasn't really a match, but a, a great fight with with EC3. I really love that uh, between the two. I thought that was really really good. And uh, maybe Moose, you know, it's going to control his own narrative. Maybe he needs to, <laughs> controlling his own narrative now, he needs to prove himself. <laughs> maybe Moose needs to prove himself to Swaggle, and they're going to have a blood feud. <laughs> Moose against Swaggle. And Moose, uh, and uh, Moose, Moose won't go, Swaggle will go over in that feud because he'll, he'll have help from Tommy Dreamer or something. <laughs> something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sure Moose is going nowhere near Swaggle. But I don't know what they're going to do with Swaggle. I know he teamed up a little bit with uh, with Tommy Dreamer uh, during the the Gauntlet match, so maybe they'll they'll form a tag team or something. Maybe they'll challenge the North. I don't know. Maybe Tommy Dreamer and Swaggle will will um will will challenge the North for the tag team titles, and they'll have a long running feud between between Swaggle and Tommy Dreamer and the North. You know, maybe maybe they'll go that route, but. I'm just kidding. I know they're not going to go that route, but whatever Swaggle does, it's going to be it's going to be comedy based. He's, they're probably going to throw him in the wedding, as I mentioned earlier, the that whole wedding thing. And um, I don't know, maybe he'll jump out of a cake or something, and he'll dance around and celebrate. I don't know, but um, he said whatever they do with Swaggle, it's definitely going to be comedy based. And uh, the North, um, the North regaining the titles. There's one thing I want to mention. I was on Facebook. And Impact Wrestling had put up the post, you know, and new, and new tag team champions, the North. And somebody responded, I guess somebody was annoyed at this. Somebody responded just with one word. They wrote again with a question mark. I think it was a couple of question marks and exclamation points. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh gosh, the nerve, the nerve of, of, of a tag team regaining the tag team titles. You know, it, it never happens in professional wrestling. You, you, you should only have the titles once, right? That, that's how it should work in professional wrestling. If, if, you, if, it, if a team regains the titles or a wrestler regains the title, you know, that, that should not happen. You know, he writes, again, the North have been champions twice. If he's upset at that, then he must really be upset that Randy Orton just, just won his 14th WWE championship. <laughs> He's been champion fourteen times, so he this 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 dude must really really be upset at that. You know, he's he's upset that the North have regained the titles. Give me a break, man! Come on, it's professional wrestling. You know, teams regain titles all the time. Just to stop the garbage. All right, one more thing, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. As I said, I was in Niagara Falls. And during it, Bound for Glory. So I wasn't able to watch it live. I watched it when I got home. But I wanted to watch the pre-show. And I had my phone with me. So I figured I'd, I'd watch it on YouTube. Wouldn't take up too much data. Or data. Or however you want to pronounce it. Because it was, uh, was like, I think it was 45 minutes long or whatever. So I figured I'd watch it on YouTube. And I wanted to see the, the, the Ken Shamrock um, Hall of Fame uh, induction. So I went to put it on YouTube. And unfortunately, due to technical difficulties... There was no YouTube feed. It was just a, just a screen of just colorful lines. And that's all it was. And I kept going back to it and technical difficulties remained. And I, I waited 10 minutes. I went back to it. Same thing. And then eventually they, they eventually took the, the, feed, the video, the feed off, off YouTube. Man, this, the, if they want to be taken seriously as a major promotion, and in my eyes, they are a major promotion, they need to do better than that, man. They need to do better than that. They need to get that technical stuff together. I know they've had issues in the past with the technical stuff and technical difficulties, but they have to get that stuff together, man. It came off like like amateurs, you know, and, and, and I've touched upon social media, making a number of mistakes, 
and and now on YouTube, they they there was no feed. They couldn't get the feed going. They got to do better than that, man. They have to do better than that because they're just gonna piss a lot of people off, and a lot of people were pissed off on Facebook. I saw a lot of upset people uh, indicating that the YouTube feed isn't working, and. Um, that's it. I just want to get that off my chest. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for listening today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.